I'm so sorry you had to see that. I had no clue I was recording. Anyways, I'd like to welcome you back to the Heart Cart. I'm Jordan J.C. Hart, and I hope you're ready for this ride. Well, today's episode is called Heart to Heart, and it's basically just me breaking down walls. So, here we go. Let's get started. It's kind of cold in here. Alright, so something you should know about me is that I used to be extremely shy. Like, super shy. Like, the kid in the corner crying because he was so shy. That was me. But, like all my life, like I said in the previous video, I wanted to be an actor, so I had to break away from that shell, you know? I had to break down those walls, I had to get out of my comfort zone, because in order to be an actor, you have to go out there. You have to go far and beyond who you are as a person. So, in order to do that, I decided to do something really crazy, and I went to go audition for American Idol. It didn't go so well. <laughs> you guys still don't know who I am, so thanks, American Idol. Some people may find me to be odd, weird, crazy. I don't really care because I'm comfortable with who I am now, and that's all that matters. Because me being me is who's going to get me somewhere, you know? So be yourself. Alright, so I honestly feel like I talked about myself enough last week, so I'm actually going to introduce you to my friend Sammy, and she's going to tell you some things about herself, and hopefully you can learn something from her. So, let me introduce you to Sammy. Alright, say hi to YouTube, Sammy. Hi, YouTube. Alright, so question number one. What was holding you back from leaving your comfort zone? So, in my life, what held me back was I was very angry, and I was very hurt by a lot of things that happened with my past and my family, and I wanted answers for things. And so I started Capoeira, which is a Brazilian martial arts, and I felt very comfortable, very at peace with myself. And then I would go and show it to people from school or show it to, you know, people in the neighborhood, and they would like look at me funny, and they thought it was weird. So I always thought that I was the weird kid that did that martial arts that no one knew about, and so, I was, that was what was holding me back. All right, so what did you do to change that actually? So what I did to change feeling uncomfortable and very weird was I would go up to people that I had never seen before when I was at a presentation or a demonstration and I would explain what Capoeira is and show them and give them some information and a phone number to call and invite them to come to the classes and other presentations we had so that they could really get a feel for what Capoeira is and how they can better relate to it than how they just see it on the street. Dude, those are seriously some awesome answers. All right, so last question. What advice would you give to someone who is afraid to leave their comfort zone? So some advice I would give to someone who was afraid to, you know, come out of their shell and out of their comfort zone was to have an open mind and have an open heart to be able to accept things they can change or cannot change to be able to say, I do capoeira and I don't care who knows. It's what I do, it's my life, it's my what I'm passionate about. And if you have something you're passionate about, break out of your shell and tell people about it. Don't be afraid to hold it back. Be able to tell the world that you love what you do. All right, thank you, Sammy, so much for your answers. I really appreciate it. Say bye to YouTube, Sammy. Thanks for having me on the show, Jordan. I share you too. All right, so as you know, I end every episode with food for thought. Dude, it's still really cold in here. Like, what's going on? Okay, so back to what I was saying. I end every episode with food for thought. So I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to leave you with the same questions that I asked Sammy earlier. What's holding you back from leaving your comfort zone? And how could you change that? And if you were able to leave your comfort zone, what advice would you give to someone else? All right, YouTube, it's been fun. I'll see you next week. Like, subscribe, comment, share. This is... Oh, and one last thing. If you're interested in Capoeira like Sammy is, just check out my description below and you can get her information <laughs> there. I swear I can be a ballerina. Or a salsa dancer.